So now we are going to focus on the gases, all the gas laws. There are basically we can say uh, the gas laws which you are going to learn now is about Boyle's law, Charles law, Avogadro's law and combined gas law. And in this video you are going to learn only about Boyle's law. And Boyle's law is pressure is inversely proportional to volume and the constant temperature. Charles law, Avogadro's and combined gas law we are going to learn in the next video. Charles law deals with uh, the proportion of volume, direct proportion of volume with temperature and a constant pressure. And Avogadro law relates volume and number of moles and the pressure and temperature when they are constant. And then we have the combined gas laws also. We refer to all these things in the next video. So now we are going to focus only on Boyle's law. So the first law we are going to learn about is Boyle's law. As we learned in Boyle's law, pressure is inversely proportional to the volume when the temperature is constant. And a Boyle's law is usually represented as P1 V1 equals P2 V2. So let's do the first question on it. The volume of an ideal gas is 3.20 liters at constant temperature and at 7.50 atmosphere. Calculate the new volume if the pressure was increased to 12.6 atmosphere. A very simple question. So use the formula P1 V1 equals P2 V2. So let's write down what all is given. P1 is given as 7.5 and P2 is given as 12.6 and V1 is given as 3.2 and they have asked you for V2. So substitute all the values in the formula P1 V1 equals P2 V2 and you can get the value of V2. And you can see that the pressure was increased to 12.6 and uh, hence the volume has decreased from 3.2 to 1.9. So the pressure and volume are inversely related. Uh, next question on Boyle's law. Uh, using the same formula P1 V1 equals P2 V2. The volume of an ideal gas is tripled at constant temperature. Calculate the new pressure if the original pressure was 285 torr. So write down the formula P1 V1 equals P2 V2. And here the P1 is given as 285 torr. And let the initial volume V1, we write it as V1. So the final volume V2 is 3 times V1. Now we have to calculate the value of P2. Substitute all the values in it uh, using the um, formula. And I get the value of P2 at 95 torr. And this is one third of the original pressure. So this also indicates that whenever volume is triple, the pressure will go down by one, uh, one third. Or pressure increases, volume decreases or volume increases, pressure decreases. So another one, uh, a simple one on Boyle's law. The pressure of a gas is decreased by one fourth. Find the change in volume. So use the same formula P1 V1 equals P2 V2. The, let the initial pressure P1, we call it as only P1 and the initial volume as V1 and the final pressure is uh, P2 is P1 divided by 4 and they are asking you for V2. So as always, since the pressure is decreased by a unit of 4, volume will increase by a unit of 4. Therefore, the new volume will be 4 times the original volume. So it is the same formula again and again. If you do the substitutions correctly, there is no way you can go wrong in these kind of questions. Another question on Boyle's law. A 1.20 liter flask was, has helium at a pressure of 15.0 atmosphere. Calculate the size of the flask that will hold this gas at a pressure of 1672 torr. Use the same formula P1 V1 equals P2 V2. P1 is given as 15.0 atmosphere. And the uh, value of V1, the volume is 1.20 liters. P2 is given in torr, 1672. So since the unit of pressure has to be same, I will convert that into atmosphere by dividing it by 760. They have just asked you for the value of V2. So again, substitute all the values in it. The only thing different here is I have to convert the unit of pressure. And I will get the unit of volume and in liters. And the value is 8.18 liters. So you can see that um, this is in accordance with Boyle's law. The pressure is decreased from 15 to 2.2 atmosphere 
and hence the volume has increased from 1.20 to 8.18 liters. So another question on Boyle's law. Calculate the volume in liters when the pressure on a 256 milliliter gas is changed from 4.25 atmosphere to 2825 millimeter at constant temperature. Same formula P1 V1 equals P2 V2. P1 is given as 4.25 atmosphere and the volume is given in milliliters. Convert that into liters as 0.256 liters and P2 is given in millimeters 2825. So I divide it by 760 to get the value in atmosphere. Now they have asked you for V2. So substitute all the values in it. I have P1, V1. I have P2. I need to get V2 and I get the volume and here also you can see that um, the pressure has decreased from 4.25 to 3.71 and the volume has increased from 0.256 to 0.293 in accordance with Boyle's law. So now for the questions for Charles and Avogadro's law, please refer to the next video.